Hello, this is Andrew with Extinction Rebellion. I'm one of the scientists there and I've done a lot of work looking at uh, sea level rise in East Anglia. So one of the reasons we're asking for divestment is because petroleum companies are not doing anything about uh, slowing down the climate change and one of the biggest effects of climate change is the sea level rise that could potentially happen in East Anglia. It just so happens that horizontal mark above the gate is very conveniently put at five and a half meter above ground level which is given the altitude of this place where the 12 meter sea level rise would come up and we estimate that might happen in the next century so in other words if we don't stop anything about climate change the sea level would put the college that much on the water above the gate which is of course not something you want to envisage. Extinction Rebellion, we're sending letters to the trustees of Trinity College as the most wealthy Cambridge College. Uh, because they invest in um, fossil, fuel. Fuel. fossil fuel. Yes, exactly. These letters are for delivery to Trinity College. Letter to trustees, Friday 28th of August 2020, to the trustees of Trinity College, Cambridge, CB2 1TQ. Divestment of college assets. I write to you in your capacity as trustee of Trinity College to ask you to urgently divest the remaining investments that your college has in the fossil fuel industry, which I believe to be in the value of 16 million pounds. I'm writing to you now to urge you as an individual to do the right thing. Cambridge Zero, the university's own climate initiative, states that if we are to avert a climate disaster, we must sharply reduce our emissions starting today. We're the last generation who can do something about catastrophic climate change. It seems unbelievable to me that the seat of learning and research that is Trinity College still has money invested in the very industries which will ensure the destruction of our species. I'm sure you know that Trinity College has the largest endowment of any Cambridge College and as yet has made no statement of intention to divest either direct or indirect investments. Although it may seem that the climate emergency will affect only future generations, Many students come from countries already on the front line of the climate crisis, where droughts, fires, flooding or failed harvests are regular occurrences. The UK is by no means exempt from these effects, with extreme summer temperatures, floods and poor harvests now occurring regularly. The climate and ecological emergency cannot wait for someone else to solve for us. We must all become activists. You are in a unique and powerful position to directly affect the £16 million investment in fossil fuels. This investment is directly leading to the end of our planet as a habitable world and sends out a strong signal to other institutions that this is okay. Do you know that the companies that are complicit in Follows that trustees should be considered culpable for their investments in this unethical practice. details on this please refer to the short addendum below. If you would be willing to make this pledge please write to us at info at xrcambridge.org. All kindest wishes and we look forward to hearing from you. Signed anonymous members of Extinction Rebellion who approach you with peace on behalf of Extinction Rebellion Cambridge and Extinction Rebellion Youth Cambridge. The list of trustees is as follows. Professor Dame Sally Davis, Master. Professor Gray Worcester, Vice Master. 
Mr. Rory Landman, Senior Bursar. Catherine Barnard, Senior Tutor. Professor Emma Widdis. Mr. Edward Knapp, Junior Bursar. Professor Paul Brakefield. Dr. Nicholas Bell. Professor Pelham Wilson. Professor Peter Saris. Professor Teresa Weber. Professor Sir Timothy Gowers. Professor Philip Hardy. Professor Nicholas Thomas.